this isn't even bad, too. Ryan McKenzie owns a small coffee shop in New York City. And while his cafe works at half of its capacity, you can't say the same about McKenzie. He spends every spare minute cleaning up coronavirus-related trash from the city streets. It's a disgusting habit that humans have, and uh, unfortunately, they feel like they can just throw things on the ground, and uh, it just bothered me. Days after the strict lockdown measures were imposed in New York, residents were happy to see a clear, clean sky over the Big Apple until they looked down at sidewalks, store entrances, empty subways, and even flower beds. Used face masks and gloves dotted the ground. We've been working really hard, frankly, to do a lot of public education and social media work to remind people, we want you to be safe during the pandemic, but we want you to do it and still be conscious enough to protect the environment and protect the earth. So wear your PPE, just throw it out in the garbage. The concern by environmentalists is shared by city authorities, who are urging people to dispose of face masks and gloves properly. Yet the look of Manhattan streets shows that not everyone is following these recommendations, which is especially detrimental because municipal street cleaning has slowed down considerably during the quarantine. They're supposed to throw it in the trash. I do. You do? I do all the time. All the time. So what? I'm a super, so I, that kind of, that is what I do. Clean up after yourself. I should put my mask on as I'm saying that. Clean up after yourself, definitely. I have noticed a lot of masks and gloves everywhere. Spreading the coronavirus is another concern. No one knows who wore the discarded masks and gloves. Theoretically, that, that is possible if you were to pick one up and it, you know, to be contaminated with SARS-CoV-2, which is the virus that causes COVID-19, and then you were to touch your mouth or your face or your eyes, and, um, that, that could be a transmission mechanism. There's another problem. The plastic contained in gloves ends up on the city beaches. And what doesn't end up in the ocean killing birds and turtles will break into microplastics, further polluting the environment. The gloves, they get washed out to the ocean after it rains. And while Mackenzie cannot speed up the city's cure from the coronavirus, he is at least trying to keep the city clean while everyone waits for some return to normalcy. For Nina Vishnyova in New York, NRI's VOA News.